Welcome to Planet Night News, and we're on opposite sides today. Matt's on the left, I'm on the right, and if you paid attention, you have no life. It's because of the pocket. Nobody's in the pocket. Shut up about the pocket, man! <laughs> And to kick things off, here are some more trailers to some movies that you may or may not already be looking forward to. A new Jurassic World trailer was released on April 20th that definitely brings some new danger and excitement into the theme park. With this new trailer, we get to see more glimpses of the genetically modified dinosaur and the chaos that ensues with its inevitable release. Needless to say, this movie will be one for the ages. That was so funny. I know, aren't I smart? I, I thought of it all by myself. I wouldn't call it that. Yet another trailer has been released recently, but this time it's for a franchise that needed a reboot. A new Fantastic Four trailer has been released, giving the superhero team some much needed love. The thing looks awesome, what they're doing with Doctor Doom proves to be awesome. The whole trailer itself makes the movie seem like a fantastic watch. Done with the puns for tonight. Never! In other superhero related news, in Marvel Comics, one of the biggest reveals has been made, confirming once and for all that Iceman has been hey gay. <laughs> Photos were leaked from issue number 40 of All New X Men where Jean Grey clearly outs Bobby Drake for being gay. Typical high school shit, you know, drama, whatever. Well, the issue was originally supposed to be on Wednesday, April 22nd, as uncanny as this new development may be within the franchise, this may prove to also be one of the most impactful, as other Marvel characters have also been proven to be gay, or lesbian, or whatever their sexual preference may be. But this one seems to be the most notable within franchise within the franchise yeah let's go with that moving on to some much needed news Bungie has recently released a new trailer for their upcoming DLC for destiny the house of wolves this DLC hopes to undo the mistakes brought on by the dark below which was complete shit I wouldn't know anything about that I didn't play the game myself but the trailer does bring out what is to come within this new DLC and even brings out a new tower that other players can push people off of and send them into eternal hell it's reef hell. reef Anyway, read the goddamn script. Anyway, just read it. The tower shows some new NPCs within the game for the new story missions, Trials of Osiris and Prison of Elders. Other improvements Bungie hopes to implement are newer upgrading systems for your exotic and legendaries, vendor reforging items, and material exchange and such. For those of you who don't buy the DLC, you won't be left out as you can still obtain the content and still reach a level 34 cap but at a much slower pace. And with that, that ends our segment for the Blind Eye News. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked what you heard, be sure to give us a like rating down below. If you want to see more of what we have or want to see old information that we had shared previously, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, check out our Facebook page for more information on our upcoming Super Smash Brothers tournament this May 17th. More if information is on the Facebook page, so just go ahead and check it out. Yeah, pretty much. So with that, that is Matt. I'm Zane, and we'll catch you next time on our Blind Eye News.